to the channel. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I obviously don't do YouTube full time. Um, the reason why I've created this YouTube channel and you know make this content is like first of all, I really enjoy it. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I am because it's such a good creative outlet for me that takes me out of my everyday life. Um, Apart from that, <laughs> um, I do have a full-time work, a full-time day job that I 100% thoroughly enjoy. Um, if you don't know, I do work for a beauty brand called L'Occitane en Provence. Um, I have heard so many different versions of how people say the brand. It's either L'Occitane, L'Occitane. L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I don't know, there's so many different variety, but it is actually pronounced L'Occitane en Provence. Um, it is, I think, I have worked, uh, in terms of what I've done in the past, I've worked in a lot of, I've managed a lot of fashion um, store in the past, fashion retail. Um, so L'Occitane is actually my first um, beauty brands that I work with. Um, and I have not looked back. I have been truly and thoroughly enjoying working for the brand for the past three years. Um, it's not because I am biased that I want to create this video, but um, I these are products that I truly enjoy and truly love using. So I thought I really want to share with everyone um, of all the products that I use from L'Occitane. Um, I I should say as to be honest I do use other products that are not L'Occitane brand as well um, but you know um, of course not one you know you can't or not, not necessarily need to use products from just the one brand because that's the only brand that suits your skin it's kind of you know it's not really make sense there's so many products in the market and if you're like a skincare beauty obsessed person like myself you would try so many different brands because you know you just want to try something different all the time um so but these are products that i honestly really enjoy from L'Occitane um i use them in my day to day and just some of them it's like my holy grail could not live without um so um let's get to it let's share with you my favorite products from l'occitane en provence um i'm gonna start with oh, i'm gonna start with this one okay because these are the ones this is my holy grail this is the one product that i use every single day <laughs> It's this one. So it's the almond shower oil from L'Occitane. Oh wait, I, I don't need to say from L'Occitane anymore because these are all, everything that I'm going to show you in this video are all from L'Occitane. Um, so the almond shower oil, this is the 500 ml. They do have the half 250 ml. This is a shower gel. A lot of people come to the store and kind of get a little bit confused if they've never tried this before as to what it is and this is a shower gel and it helps to makes your skin feel so smooth and supple and it is not oily whatsoever so the moment that you know when you use it as a normal shower gel you step into the water the oil turn emulsify and turns into like more like a milky consistency so it wouldn't leave your bathtub like slippery and oily at all um i the scent of this almond shower oil is so luxurious and so like I don't know, delicious. It's so hard to explain. It's almost like it smells like marzipan, <laughs> but it has such a beautiful, beautiful, luxurious scent that I just cannot think of using anything else but the almond shower oil for literally since I first started with L'Occitane. I've just always used shower oil, never looked back. I've tried their Shea shower oil, but this is still my favorite. And the next product that also is a holy grail for me is this so these one is the shea butter hand cream this is actually the 25 percent intensive hand balm so the original one that they have is actually the 20 percent shea butter hand cream which is their most like 
popular products if you know L'Occitane you the first thing that you would know about L'Occitane is the shea butter hand cream uh, we sold one every three seconds around the world this is sort of the newer edition so the reason why I love this one a little bit more is because these ones actually um, it's a lot more hydrating I do not mind that it's a little bit more on the slippery side because it's like it is a balm texture but I really do like the shea butter hand cream range it has like a baby powder scent which is i don't know i enjoy the baby powder scent um and because it's 25 percent, it's like much better for dry skin if you work because i work in like beauty store i wash my hands all the time um so these actually have saved my hands i do have the larger version this is like the tiny one this is like only i think the 50 ml one they have a 150 one so i do have the 150 but this is the one that i carry with me all the time nice and handy for the bag um and yeah it's just so good so i really really like this one um <clears throat> wow okay so still sticking to body um i am so obsessed with I probably am the, my most favorite line from L'Occitane is probably the almond range um, so hence this one this is the next one which is the um, almond supple skin oil um, this is the body oil that you use straight out of shower so this is not the all right this is the shower gel this is the body oil <laughs> so don't get the two confused um, so this one is a dry oil the moment you uh, what I like about this this is actually a spray on the moment you spray it on it actually just feels really um, easily absorbed by your skin it does leave your skin with a really wonderful like scent um, and it also like feels really um, like sort of smooth and it also because of the almond oil it also helps to firm as well um, most of the time, a lot of the time actually, um, a lot of our customers who are pregnant, um, they actually buy these and they swear by these because they say it, it like it helps to prevent their stretch marks. Um, so yeah, so a lot of pregnant women come and get this. But for me, I just really love that it is so convenient because it's a spray on. So I use it on my body after shower and it has helped tremendously because I do get really really dry skin especially on my legs so these ones uh, has been really really good i've gone through like so much bottles of these like maybe i think this is probably my fourth bottle and i've got one ready to go just in case this one runs out <clears throat> sorry i do use this like for winter for summer i just really love it so much that i use it all year round um yeah should i move on to face I guess uh, for face care I will start with cleanser so recently um, L'Occitane released their um, cleansers line which has like different types of cleanser depending on you know what texture you prefer and one of them that they one of the thing that they release is actually these one which is the um, eye and lip makeup remover and um, so this is the by face so you shake them <laughs> you shake before you use them and then they'll um, put it on a cotton pad put it on to remove your point makeup so your mascara eyeshadows and your lips as well um i like that this is super super gentle when i use it on my eyes to remove mascara it doesn't sting um i feel i don't like a lot of um these type of like makeup remover it can sometimes sting your eyes a little bit or like when you open your eyes it's kind of like all like blurry um, but this one doesn't do that and I I guess that's why I like it so I've been using this um, every time I use like my mascara which I have started to use a little bit more now because I've recently found a mascara that I fell in love with completely so I've been using mascara in my day-to-day -day makeup a lot more often than usual so I have been using this to remove it and and yeah i just really like how fast they separate it as well like the oil and the because like you shake it <laughs> and then they separate really really quickly you see them kind of like separate super quickly and um, but yeah anyway so i really like um how um this feels in my eyes and it just removes the all the um necessary like sort of point makeup with your eye and your lips as well so yeah 
And the next one that I really like from um, their for their face care is actually their Divine Cleansing Balm. So these ones is literally it's like a cleansing oil, but it's in a balm form. Um, oh, it smells so good. It has like such a nice and calming scent. Um, like I think most of the time, I, I mean, I've tried both cleansing oil and cleansing balm. Um, I do prefer uh, like a liquid, like sort of like a, just a cleansing oil, like normal. But you know, I every now and then you want something different, and this is actually my one of my most favorite cleansing balm out there. Um, and you, it comes with a scoop. You just need one scoop, and it just takes off all your makeup. Um, I do have to say, it is more on the gentle side, so it doesn't take um, like you know water, like a waterproof um eyeliner or things like that which is where this comes in super handy that's what you use to remove your point makeup um this one but this one takes off all your foundations powder and all like all that really really easily so it emulsifies really really nicely um it doesn't leave any greasy oily feel on your skin after you like sort of emulsify and wash it off so really really enjoy this um it's it's a bit of a luxury definitely in my opinion um, there's so many cleansing balm out there that are like on a much more affordable price point but I just really do enjoy this one because of the scent and also the feel of it um, as well and the next one that I really like from their skincare line which actually currently I'm quite obsessed with is actually their um, L'Occitane uh, Immortal Precious Eye Balm so it's this this one here so they um last year um late last year um they recently reformulated and repackaged the immortal precious line and they've revamped their eye balm so the texture is a lot lighter than the previous precious eye balm but it has caffeine in there as one of the active ingredients and let me tell you I don't struggle with dark circle but I do struggle with puffiness so if I don't sleep well I do get a bit of a puffy like literally like down there and it can get quite bad um so I found that I use this in my morning routine um, so I just literally like pop it on after I put my essence on I put my eye balm I put this on um, and it just helps to reduce my puffiness super super quickly um, I don't notice as much puffiness in the morning um, at as often um, even when I haven't been sleeping very well like of course your face still look tired but I don't have the puffiness that I normally do get um, when I don't sleep well so I am totally raving this to everybody the texture is like a gel so it's really light so even if I have like I have an oily skin this agrees with me it doesn't give me any like uh, white head around my eyes it doesn't do that which some of like the thicker eye balm do do that for me because of like too much oil i guess but this is has been like really good so bam <laughs> this is definitely like highly recommended um another one from the precious line uh, when they relaunch and re repackage and relaunch the immortal precious line they've also released a fluid which is like a day moisturizer or it could be a day and night but i use it as my day moisturizer and um, so with the precious the immortal precious like the main ingredients is the immortal essential oil which is your first signs of aging uh like uh defend like it will defend your skin from your first signs of aging your immortal essential oil because it helps to stimulate collagen production in your skin um it also has the um, dynamic hyaluronic acid which actually the combination of the two helps to like speed up the skin renewal process but in the original um in the actual uh immortal precious cream they do add shea butter as well so it's good if you have like a drier skin the shea butter is very rich in vitamin e so it helps to you know really nourish your skin but because i've got more like combination oily skin these ones actually a really good option so they took out the shea butter and just have the immortal essential oil and the dynamic hyaluronic acid and the texture of it is really really light um and i found that because it has such a light texture, I just love to use it every day during like in my AM routine. 
um, because it's just because I prefer like a thicker texture at night but during the day um, this one's actually really really good um, it has a really nice fresh scent as well which I think all the Immortel um, their skincare Immortel line has similar scent um, especially with the precious but um, yeah I just really like it and I like it in a, in like a tube like this so you don't have to dig your hands in so this one's like a really handy and if I travel I just like to carry it because it's so light and it's uh, 50 mil so it can go to the cabin as well you don't have to put it in your like check-in luggage so yeah this one has been really really good I recommend it to a few of my friends who has like a more oilier skin and they've actually been really enjoying this as well so next um, these one or oh, speaking of holy grail when it comes to loxicham products this is actually the other one that is definitely my um, must-have um, this is the divine youth oil so immortal divine youth oil um, this is their face oil um, it I think before this face oil I'm a little bit skeptic of using oil on my skin because I've got oily skin this is way before all my education that I do that I get um, from you know watching beauty channels and working for beauty brands uh, but if you have an oily skin you can and you should actually use the right type of face oil because it can help to balance out your oil production um, and I have found this to be like amazing it has a uh, sea buckthorn oil barrage oil it also has um, evening primrose camelina oil which are all really good nutrients for your skin but because it has like sea barrage uh, barrage oil and sea buckthorn it also helps to just really like repair skin like repair skin barriers so um, I found that um, if I do what I do is I would add uh, one or two drops um, into my nighttime moisturizer um, every maybe like every second day or so um, if I get my treatment from my esthetician where I would get a proper like acid exfoliating uh, facial um, and I can't put anything that is too active on my skin I found that I put this and my skin just loves it it drinks it up and it helps to repair my skin barrier a lot quicker um, by just adding this to my normal moisturizer as well um, this is the smaller like the half version so um, the full size is actually 30 mil this is actually the 15 mil um, I don't at the moment I know that in stores they've only got the larger one I don't know if they're gonna make the smaller one again or, or was it just a limited edition but I found the smaller one to be so handy because um, because you only use one or two drops the big one lasts you forever and because once you open it you can only use it within the next six months I end up putting the big one onto like body lotions and hair and you know which is great but that's very costly to, to like it's it because it's one bottle is hundred and forty dollars and um, to use it for other than your face I feel like a little bit like oh no you know even though it's such a good oil for everywhere else but um, I found this smaller size to be a lot more um, handier and and you can finish it within the time frame and I, I don't know I just I, I like this one this is definitely a holy grail for me if you never try the divine youth oil by all means do go to a loxishan store near you and ask for a sample sometimes they do sometimes they don't have it but um just depends on what um is sent from France but this is definitely worth the try um, whether you're oily skin or dry skin this one's definitely um, helps so much in your skincare routine so really really like this one um the next one this is the probably the cream that everybody raves in about all the time which is their divine cream so the, this is their pot of gold so this is the immortal divine cream this is actually the one with the spf 20 so that's the day cream um i cannot use the night cream um because it's quite heavy but the day cream i really love um, it's really um, 
really light on my skin doesn't feel like it's too heavy um although i've recently tried the normal divine cream um i take home a sample to try and it hasn't sort of break me out or anything so it could be because they of the recent reformulation that they did last year um but this has been like my go-to day cream um for the longest time um and i've been really really enjoying this um so yeah so if you haven't tried their divine cream moisturizer i highly highly recommend for you to give it a try it's really really good um there's one product that i've run out and i haven't actually repurchased uh because i want to purchase the limited edition one um when i get paid <laughs> uh, which is the reset serum so um the reset serum is the overnight reset serum is probably their most raved products i will put like the image here future karina put image of reset serum here um and so it's really a basically it's like a booster serum that you put on before your moisturizer or before your other strong serum at night um it helps to increase the efficiency of whatever products that you put um because it helps to it helps the other products to travel into your skin better um i love to use it um before my like brightening vitamin c serum because it helps so much with my pigmentation so definitely resets the overnight reset serum is one that i would highly recommend um but if you haven't tried it there's plenty of sample in the store so go and get um yeah the next one is actually um their lip balms <laughs> um this is the first shea butter lip balm that i always i only ever only buy the stick one because i found that this is, a, is so convenient um and it's really good for dry skin and i like to use this underneath um, my matte lipsticks because it helps to make my lips like it doesn't feel like it's drying because matte lipstick can be quite drying sometimes so i really like this and i have so many of this at the bottom of my bags like all of my bags um that's how often like i buy more because i thought i'll lose it and then it's actually in another bag but i just i think my aim is to get one in every single bag that i have so that's the aim for this but so i really really like this one um but recently they put a uh, bring out the um shea butter lip balm with the spf um of course you know we emphasize on how important it is to put sunscreen on your face on your body but you know you kind of forget your lips area and i i don't know if you ever accidentally put a uh, sunscreen on your lips it just doesn't taste very good um this one is purposely uh, for your lip with spf 30 um, so I have been using this um, every day on the daily um, and I found that it's just you know it's still moisturizing um, it is still very good for like my slightly dry dry lips um, it has more of a, like a little bit of a shine finish compared to, compared to um, the stick because the stick is just like more like a matte finish um, but these ones it's still good and the fact that it has sunscreen it's definitely very important to have in your bag like especially right now so there we go these are my two my two favorite lip balm um, and oh okay so one of the thing that um, I guess Loxichan is known for as well is their perfume um, and one of my current favorite because um, they have so many and a lot of their perfumes are more floral I like floral fragrances but some of them can be quite sweet and too florally and I'm just like not into it but they recently launched, launched this one which is Herbe, so it has wild rose it has um white nettle so it's kind of it's very fresh i'm gonna spray some so it's very fresh and um really really good for summer i think um they launched this i think just before summer starts i think maybe they launch this in winter australia in australian winter because we follow the french calendar but um this one's actually a really good summer fragrance very fresh very light um it still has a hint of floral it does remind me a little bit of that 
um, is it Kenzo? Kenzo, the flo the flower one. Uh, but it's it's. I think it's one of them. Like if you're not into like too floral, um, too floral fragrance, this one's actually really really good. So I really like this one. The other one. So this one is very special fragrance. You cannot get it anywhere else but in the one store, which is L'Occitane at Collins Street in Melbourne. Um, I think that's probably the only store. I'm not sure if in Sydney, like for example, Centerpoint, I don't know if they have it as well or not, but I know in Melbourne, you can only get it in the Collins Street store, which is our flagship store. This is the um, L'Occitane with Pierre Hermé 86 Champs-Élysées fragrance. This one, one of my, I've got two favorites. Um, one is the raspberry matcha with the green tea, but this is the black currant rhubarb. Um, it it's really um, it has that sort of the citrus berry twang from the black currant, um, but it's actually and it has that freshness of like um, like the tanginess of like rhubarb like you can almost taste the scent um, and the reason why I really I think this 86 fragrances are very special because it's um, it's inspired by dessert if you're familiar with Pierre Hermé he is one of the most fantastic uh, patisserie chef <laughs> in uh, Paris very celebrated chef and um, he did this fragrance is all inspired by like dessert so this is one of my favorite scents and I think it's a really special gift to give because you cannot get it anywhere but the one flagship store here in Australia so yeah and I love that this is su such an aesthetic thing because the cap is like marble marble bottle cap so I don't know I just think it's really really beautiful so yeah there we go um that's fragrances now last things i'm gonna move on to home um the ones that i'm gonna show you now is their pillow mist the loxygen P relaxing pillow mist is so good um the one that i have that i'm gonna show you is this one this is actually um unfortunately the older packaging i have not actually purchased the new packaging yet because i still have like this much left in my pillow mist but I use this every night. I spray it around my room, on my duna, on my pillow because it is so nice and very relaxing. It's um, lavender with geranium, with bergamot. It's, it's just like really calming and you know, like the name says, it's a relaxing pillow mist. You don't have to just spray it on your pillow. You can use it as your room spray. But um, yeah, I just, I really, really like it. Whenever they have the mini travel size one, I would definitely put, um, like purchase that one because it's so handy to carry uh, for when you travel. You just spray um, some of the pillow mist around and it's it's like, it, it has that scent of, okay, I'm like relaxed, I'm home. It's a familiar scent. So um, I really, really like this. They do have the new, um, packaging with uh, the scent is slightly different but it is still very relaxing it is still amazing so the pillow mist highly highly recommend for you to try um okay so recently as recent as literally christmas or yeah christmas just before christmas loxitan revamp and relaunch their home range and i have two things that i want to show you that i really 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 love now the first one is actually this massive home candle and uh, this was actually gifted to us um to to us uh because who went to the conference uh for the company so uh we've got a business conference twice a year for boutique managers so i have um, I was very grateful to have the opportunity to go last year and uh, they gifted us this. Um, this is, they do sell the one with the three wick. They also sell just a normal one, like the one with the one wick. Um, but these one is the Cocoon and Serenity. This one is like the, like the relaxing lavender um, scent. This one is so good. Like I would burn it um, every now and then because I'm like, 
I'm like I'm trying to like really use it sparingly because I really love it um, but yeah so these ones um, I really really like their new packaging is super simple it's really beautiful um, so yeah this one um, now lastly this is something very very special I think uh, we launched this just before Christmas um, and I think this makes such a beautiful, um, like home, um, like welcome home or, or like a housewarming gift to anyone because it's special. And I think um, a lot of people probably wouldn't buy this for themselves, but as a housewarming gift or birthday gift, I think this is so, so beautiful. So these, oh, ta-da. So these is um, the diffuser de lumière, the uh, porcelain votif light. So this is like a box like this. So inside you do get this beautiful handmade um, like container. So this is, oh, if I can get closer. As you can see, so this is handcrafted. So these one, L'Occitane worked together with the artisan called Bernardo. So he is, let me have a look. So he, so is, um, it's a heritage company called Maison Bernardo. And he um, basically had, well, not Monsieur Bernardo himself, but the Maison Bernardo actually handcrafted this porcelain um, container and literally like have all this beautiful um, sort of flower, um, citrus, like some grapefruit like craft on it. So, and like there's like a lavender motif as well. So these box comes with these and also comes with, let me open it for you so you can see also comes with two um tea light candle that you put into the votive like into the container like this um and it comes with two of my favorite scent actually because they launched four new candle scent but these are two of my favorite which is the serenity the relaxing candle and the harmony candle this one the green one so they come with two and basically you just pop the candle into the votive and then turn it on and in the dark it looks so beautiful because you can see the lights through all these different like engraved um, porcelain as well it's so so beautiful um, I know for a fact that people probably wouldn't buy it for themselves um, but it's such a beautiful um, like housewarming gift um, or a birthday gift if you know someone really loves um, like candles and home decoration I think this is a beautiful beautiful gift um, yeah so that's that's everything that's everything that I really use and truly truly enjoy from the place that I work in which is L'Occitane on Provence say it with me L'Occitane <laughs> um, I thought I should uh, share with y'all how to say it properly because a lot of people come in and tell me all these different way to pronounce L'Occitan but yeah so um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you want to know more about L'Occitan you can check them out online I will leave all the products on the description box down below um, you should definitely try if anything you should definitely try their almond shower oil their pillow mist and their their the precious eye cream that's my my top must-have um, if you want to, me to be honest with you, what I think you should get from us is definitely that. Um, but yeah, so I really, really do um, enjoy working there. And one of the things that I'm really proud of about working with L'Occitan is that they really, truly cares about like the environment. The bio they really respect the biodiversity. And uh, if you are aware, I do live in Australia, in Melbourne, and I'm sure everybody should be aware by now that um, there is a terrible bushfire that has happened in both New South Wales, South Australia, and Victoria, which has definitely eradicate a huge number of population of wildlife and also um, like 
different unique um, plantations as well in Australia um, so one of the reason why um, that I, I can I'm so proud to be working for L'Occitane as a company is because they've recently pledged uh, they've created a the L'Occitane ecosystem fund where they've donated um, a huge sum of uh, money to replant um, and I, I honestly think that this is probably so true to who they are as a company so for christmas in 2019 christmas every single person who purchased a certain amount um of products from us was given the chance to plant a tree uh, we work together with pure project where they um plant a tree for you and they created this corridor along south australia and a victorian uh, border where they plant all these native trees um so with with the current situation with the bushfire um L'Occitan have taken that further and continue to support um, by creating this ecosystem fund uh, where they will continue to plant native trees um, all around um, the countries, um, especially areas that are affected by the bushfires. Um, and in store, we have also do our little um, fundraising uh, where you can further donate into the Red Cross Australia. Um, so if you happen to come into store, um, in the next few weeks or so, uh, do come into L'Occitane store anywhere in Australia. Um, you can help uh, by also donating um, into our donation box that we will then give to Red Cross Australia. Um, and as a employee of this wonderful company, we are also will be given opportunity to further help. Um, we're still waiting on as to how we're gonna do that, but I'm I'm just really excited to really put my hands up for this to just definitely help my home um it is a devastating um situation uh but i you know i think we are all very hopeful um it's been raining for the past two days here in melbourne which is have been really really helpful um but also because the area of the fire is just so large um, that not every single area is actually helped by the rain, but you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful and I think everyone's around the world has have been so so gracious and helping Australia out so I am just very very grateful about that and to be also working in a company where they actually care and take action I am also very very proud of that so um, yeah, so I thought I want to share with you a little bit about that as well. Um, so anyway, um, I hope to um, see you guys next time in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me if you happen to use L'Occitane and what products do you love to use from them and if you have been pronouncing L'Occitane wrong, <laughs> let me know how you've been pronouncing it all this time. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Um, I hope everybody stay healthy and happy and I will see you next time. Bye bye! Yo.